Hi everyone and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today is Wednesday, April the 13th of 2022 and I am coming at you guys with another DITL day in the life vlog um, for the week and yeah it's Wednesday. It's actually going to be a pretty busy busy day. Actually taking some things. Currently I'm in route to run a couple of errands. We're going to go drop off some stuff to donate. Uh, Guy, you can't turn here. This is a no turn on left lane. You can't just sit here and block the road. You can't turn on left. Are you serious? Oh, he literally did. Even though there's a huge sign that says don't turn on left, he turned on left. Okay. Um, anyway, um, it is a busy day. We're currently en route to go drop some stuff off to donate. Um, I am going to go ahead and insert a clip of all the stuff we're donating. So we are going to go donate today um, to the local soup kitchen place, um, Christ Table is what they're called. They do such a great job in this community. And so anytime I can donate my excess couponing stuff, I love to do that. Um, so we got several things here. Got these Stimulate plant-based chicken nuggets. I don't think my family will eat those. I don't really know, but just figure I'd donate them to them. Then we got some banana milk here. Uh, we don't really have a use for that, so they can use it down there. My dad was liking this Mountain Dew Spark, but he just stopped drinking it. I don't know if he's like giving up pop or what, but it was just sitting here. So we're donating that. Got some enchilada sauce. We don't really make enchiladas, and so figured I could donate that. And this is 13 servings, so if they make enchiladas for dinner one night, you know, that is quite a bit that'll help them. And whatever they don't use for meals, they just sit on a table and give out, which I think is awesome. Instant coffee drinks. They always like to have drinks. So we got energy drinks, Snapple, um, stuff like that to keep um, them hydrated because, like I said, they give it out to the homeless, which is so, so awesome. I love that they do that. Um, got these wicked food things that look kind of weird, so I figured I'd donate that. Got some condiments. These actually I overstocked, and these are kind of out of date, but they have told us they don't care about dates. They said it's fine, so we'll just pass that along to them. And then we just have some excess. The Splenda Stevia stuff, I have a million of those, so donate that. Some mac and cheese for them. So just really good stuff. Love being able to donate my couponing stuff to those in need. So yeah, I'm um, just gonna take out stuff down to donate, super exciting. And if you guys have never ever donated before from couponing, I'm telling you, you are so missing out because it's such a great feeling to be able to give back. I mean, obviously if you don't have extra stuff to donate, then that, that makes sense. But at least for me, I wind up with so much excess stuff that I get for free or whatever that I have lots to donate. So it's so fun to be able to do that and to give back. So heading to do that, um, and then I have to go to the post office and drop off some Etsy orders as you kind of saw in the little morning montage of cooking and everything. Um, I made dinner for tonight, which is just pizza, which sounds really good. Super simple. I like cooking the dinners in the morning and just heating it up at night. I know it sounds crazy, but either that or crock pot or something because it just makes life a lot simpler, especially on busy days like today. So yes, dinner is all taken care of tonight. I made a pepperoni pizza for um, some of us and then my mom and grandma only like they don't like meat so i made them a veggie pizza so pretty um pretty good there and i made homemade croutons to go along with salad um so that was really good they were just a dupe on the cracker barrel croutons which really they don't taste much like cracker barrel but they taste really good actually it's just literally sourdough english muffins um i just put them i mixed them up with some oil avocado oil i used i would have used olive oil but i couldn't find it so i just used avocado and I put some thyme and garlic and I just put it in the air fryer. They actually said on the recipe to do it in the skillet, but I did not like how they turned out as well in the skillet. So I like the air fryer and it actually works out really good and it doesn't take very long. So that'll be good. Currently dropping some orders off at the post office for my Etsy store. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I have two orders. So I'm gonna go drop those off and not exactly sure what the rest of the day is gonna bring. I'll just be sure to take you guys along. So yeah, that is what's up. I tell you guys, this thing is an introvert's best friend. No waiting in line, no having to deal with anybody. You just scan your packages in here and you drop them in this little drop box and it makes life so much easier. So the two ladies from, one from St. Clairsville, Ohio and one from Cross, South Carolina, I believe. Y'all's orders are on the way. I don't know why, but it's become my tradition, like almost after donating, like almost every single time I come to Taco Bell. Don't ask me why, but several times I've ended up coming to Taco Bell after donating. It just is a weird, weird little habit. Kind of expected now. All right, so I got me a Crunchwrap Supreme, which is delicious. 
and I got me a little cherry freezy thing. I've never had one of these there. It's actually really good. I'm going for dessert. Got some cinnamon twists, and then my family got some stuff too, so gonna be really good. All right, guys, we are back home now um, from errands. We are gonna go to Dollar Tree in a little bit, so um, I will be sure to take you guys along there, but while I have a free moment, I am actually going to work on coupon stuff, coupon organization here. And I kind of want to have a talk with you guys about simplifying my life. And that is something I'm, I'm really into right now, is making things easier and not harder, taking a lot of the pressure off of myself, um, because something I have done is put a lot of pressure on myself with planning and organizing and being on top of everything. And that is something that this year I am definitely trying to work on not doing is overcomplicating things in my life. I overcomplicate so much. You guys can't even believe how much I overcomplicate things. Um, it's gonna have a walk down memory lane here. If you've been here a while, you've seen me. You've seen me doing the planners. I get planners and think that this planner is finally gonna be the one for me. It's gonna make me get my life on track. And then I, you know, coupon organization and budget methods and stuff. I can't tell you how many times I've changed my coupon organization. I've done them all. I've done every method out there. I've done the coupon Humongo three ring binders numerous times. I have done the coupon box. I've done a hybrid where I would put the coupons in the box as a preliminary holding place for the binder when I didn't have time. I did team too much with my coupon organization and with my planners. You guys have seen me bounce around in planners. I've had the arc bound planners, I've printed my own planners, I've got Aaron Condren planners, I've got all the planners. Um, I've just done team too much. And I heard a quote from somebody I was watching on YouTube and she said, you have to make your planner work for you. You can't make yourself work for the planner. And that, as crazy as that sounds, really made a lot of sense to me because I was trying with the coupons and with my planners and my budgets, I wanted to make these systems work for me, but I wasn't really finding a system. Like I was going to make myself to change myself to work for the system instead of having a system that actually works for me. And that's why I am trying to simplify things. So planning, I've changed my planner yet again. And somebody actually asked, what do you do with your planners after you decide not to use them anymore? I still keep them because you never know. You might want to go back, but um, I'm on a quest here. Like I said, to simplify, you want to know what planner I'm using now? This notebook, it's a blank notebook. That's what I'm using right now. And you guys have seen before the Bujo bullet journal method. I really enjoy the bullet journal um, a lot. And I actually just went back to it. Um, it's so simple. It's a notebook. You literally can put anything in here. I got this notebook at Hobby Lobby for under $5. It's on sale this week. Um, and it, it's all that. So I'm just keeping notes in here. I'm keeping literally everything in here. Future log, which is just a calendar of things coming up. I'm keeping in here my project life, which I say that loosely because it really isn't even project life. It's kind of just the pocket journal cards and pictures. So, I mean, it's not the official project life, but I'm keeping a tractor of that, you know, and just notes, random notes and things um, I'm keeping in here. And so basically that's my daily to-do list. I just do a page a day of whatever. It can be as long or as short as I want. And that's the thing about the planners is I was trying to make my planner, um, to fit everything in my planner. And so there was a lot of days where I'd have more to do that I would just have to leave stuff off because I already used up all the space in that pre-print, pre-printed, pre why can't I talk? Pre-printed planner. But this is exactly what I want. It can be as long of a day as I want. Let's say the day's got so much to do, it's on two pages, that's okay. Let's say it's a half a page, that's okay too. Um, I did a Bible study on Matthew 26. I could just jot that here on this page. And it's okay, there's literally no pressure and that's what I love about this bullet journal so much. And so I'm definitely back on track with bullet journaling. And then budgeting's another one I'm simplifying. I, I'm not gonna say that because my budget is actually very complex. There's a bunch of different moving parts of my budget because I have the business budget for my Etsy, I have my personal budget, I have all these budgets. But I want it so bad to kind of be cookie cutter and make my budget be in a nice paper planner like all these other people I watch on YouTube who do great videos, but they do the paper planners for budgeting. And I kept trying and trying and trying and it just wasn't working. I would keep having to throw it away because I had to redo stuff and then redo the budget all the time. And it just wasn't working. 
And so I finally embraced digital budgeting, which is something I should have done in the first place because it really is awesome. I finally signed up for YNAB. I know some of you guys have talked about YNAB. Um, it's, it's not free, but it is a really, really great system. It's exactly what I need. Maybe in the future, I'll talk more about that, um, but I'm really enjoying it. I have all my budgets set aside. I have my personal budget and I got my business account and I got my sinking funds all there in a nice digital record. I can see all of it, which is awesome. And then comes the coupons, which now we're going to cut some coupons here. Um, couponing is been something I've been doing since 2014. So a really long time I've been couponing, eight years now, which is amazing. And I still love it. I still love paper coupons. You know, some weeks I don't pick up the paper coupons because they've got really expensive in my area. But most weeks I do still like to pick up paper coupons because they're just awesome. And you get really, really good deals with coupons. And so I don't want to let go of these, but especially over the last year, I've been in such limbo with my coupon organization because I could not, especially since COVID, I quit the binder method pretty much. I use that binder all the time and it literally took hours because I'd have to sit there and literally play origami with all the coupons and cut them up and fold them in. And then it seems like by the time I get them folded in, like because I would put it off, then the coupons would be expired. And if I missed a week, it would take forever to catch up. And I'm just past that point in my life. I don't really know how I ever kept up with it as busy as I was because believe it or not, I used to be even busier than I am now when I was in school and everything, but I somehow did it, but that's why I'd get weeks behind too. So I really did try embracing the whole insert method, which is what I've been doing for the last year or whatever, just having the coupons sitting in stacks on my desk, which I could have done the fancy file folders and stuff, but I don't know. That didn't work for me either because I wouldn't have the coupons I needed with me when I needed them. Um, and so, yeah, so I know for me, I need to cut out all my coupons. I need to have all my coupons with me. But I don't need to sit there doing the binder and folding them up for hours. And that is where my own system came in, which is the couponing wallet. I love the couponing wallet so much. And basically what the couponing wallet is, let me show you here. I am behind because I am just now getting caught back up on clipping coupons again. I've not been buying papers the last couple weeks because there just wasn't any coupons I wanted. But I did buy papers this week. Um, and this is it. It's the couponing wallet system. I love this. I have several different colors, black, blue, yellow green, clear, and purple. I have all the colors in stock right now. Um, and basically what it is, is it comes with these little wallet sleeves and you literally just separate your coupons out in here. So I have one for receipts. Um, so I can keep all my receipts. This shopping trip, really love that. Freebie coupons, grocery coupons, household, personal care, pharmacy, and miscellaneous. And literally what I do is I just cut my coupons of the week and separate them out in those pouches. And that's it. That's that's all it is. And I find with the coupons expiring all the time, like they didn't used to expire that quickly, but they expire so quick now, you know, I don't find the wallet would get too bulky with multiple weeks worth of coupons in it. So I don't know. I'm loving it. Simplifying my life definitely makes a lot of sense. Um, with couponing, it allows me to have my coupons clipped, organized, and with me, but it's not taking me three hours to cut the coupons like I used to. So I am definitely, definitely loving that. I want to say if any of you are interested in the coupon wallet or any of my products in the Etsy store, I have budgeting stuff, I have um, couponing stuff, shopping lists, meal planning lists, all sorts of stuff. Um, definitely check out my shop. I'll have the link down below. And since you watch this vlog, there is a coupon code VLOGFAM, all caps, B-L-O-G-F-A-M, you'll receive 25% off of your purchase when using that coupon. So um, yes, lots of great stuff there. I appreciate everybody who has purchased something from the shop. We have got over 100 sales at this point um, since opening in October, and I am so, so, so grateful for that. Um, but definitely the shop is still there and still going and still has great stuff in it. So definitely consider checking it out. So anyways, I'm going to finish cutting up coupons. Then I'm going to head to Dollar Tree. I'll take you guys along with me when we go there. All right. So at the Dollar 25 tree is what it should be called, but at the Dollar Tree. Okay. So the main reason I came to Dollar Tree is my friend sent me a TikTok and Dollar Tree has like PBS Kids memorabilia from like the old 90s shows, which is basically the shows I grew up on in the early 2000s. Arthur, Berenstein Bears, stuff like that. And the dork in me wanted to pick some of it up. And, and they said it was with the Easter stuff. That's where the TikTok found it at her store. And I'm just not seeing it at mine, which is a bummer. I'm half tempted to go to the other Dollar Tree to check, but we'll see. 
The Dollar Tree got some meal prepping items in, which is kind of cool. Like this two pack, or they have like the bowls. So that's pretty neat. If I have any more meal prep stuff, I'll think to check here. Okay, so left the Dollar Tree because the line literally was ridiculous. And I, if, since I didn't have what I was wanting, I just was like, I'm not even gonna bother looking around and waiting in line for like 30 minutes to check out. So yeah, but anyways, now, I don't know what we're gonna do. So I'll let you know what we do when we do it. All right, this is commitment here. Dollar Tree, round two. Let's see if this one maybe has the old timey PBS kids merch. All right guys, no such luck here either, but they do have these little things here, these little plush, plushy things, SpongeBob and, um, Blue's Clues and stuff, which... <laughs> Alright, Dollar Tree round two, not seeing it at all, which sucks. I was like so hoping they'd have it, just not seeing any Arthur stuff. I'm gonna check around the store and just see maybe. They do have these little plushy things, um, Nickelodeon, so SpongeBob, Blue's Clues, Squidward, <laughs> um, which... It's better than nothing, I guess, but I really loved the Arthur. They had Arthur's cereal bowl, an Arthur cup, and a Berenstein Bears cup. Would love to have those, but what you gonna do? Okay, so we found a clue here. They have this, which isn't a show that I know, but it's like this. Like, this is the thing. It's just with Arthur and Berenstein Bears. Do you know <sighs> That's so weird. Like, if this is here, where did this come from? Someone dumped it in this aisle, so I don't know. This is crazy. Did I ever think I'd spend my days as a 21 year old looking for Arthur merchandise? Not really, but <laughs> that's where we're at right now. Yes, yes, yes. I found one, one little cup, but I don't care. That's fine. They do not have Berenstein Bears, but Arthur is definitely my fave. Oh my gosh, it actually, it literally has all of them on it. This is so cool. And I'm not even going to drink out of this. I'm literally just going to put this up on one of my shelves. I collect old stuff like that, like, um, you know, little trinkets and things. I wish they had the cereal bowl because I actually would have ate cereal out of that, like, totally. Um, it has, it's one of the cereal kids bowls with, like, a straw. Um, but don't see that. But I at least am happy I found the cup. I didn't find it. The person I watched on TikTok found it with the um, Easter stuff, but at this store it was randomly blended in with like the plastic wear. So I don't know. I think I'm going to check my other store again and see maybe if it's in the plastic wear section. All right, guys, it is now 4.43 p.m. and I'm heading back from Dollar Tree um, and traffic is nuts right now. So I'm on a back road trying to avoid traffic and there's this humongo truck in front of me. So traffic's not much better here. So I am gonna go ahead and take this as an opportunity to sing again. Some of you really enjoyed that last time when I sang Blessed Assurance and a lot of you said it really blessed you and touched your spirit. And if this even blesses one person, then that makes it worth it. And so with Easter coming up on Sunday and Good Friday, obviously gonna be tomorrow when you guys are seeing this, I wanted to sing about, you know, the sacrifice that Jesus made for us on the cross and everything he did for us on Calvary. And so thankful for the sacrifice he made for us so that we could be free from our sins and that he can, he died for the remission of our sins, which I actually was looking that up last night in Bible study and remission literally means, means the cancellation of a debt. And that is exactly what he did for us on the cross. And, um, and so these songs, I hope you guys enjoy. And this just reminds you of what he did for us. Jesus paid it all, and all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. And oh, Jesus paid it all, and all to him I owe. Because sin had left a crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. And he washed it white as snow. And on a hill far away stood. 
stood in old rugged cross for the emblem of suffering and shame. And how I love that old cross where the dearest and best died for world of lost sinners was slain. Thou cherish the old rugged cross and seal my trophies at last I lay down. And so I'll cling to the old rugged cross and exchange it someday for a crown. And so I will cherish the old rugged cross and seal my trophies at last I'll lay them down And so I'll cling, I'll cling to the old rugged cross And I'll exchange it someday for a crown And on that great day I'll exchange it someday for a crown. Back at this Dollar Tree, since now I know to look in the plastics and not in the, um, you know, Easter stuff. Okay, let's see here. Not seeing them, but at the other Dollar Tree, I literally took like the last Arthur one. I think I showed you guys. Yeah, not seeing any here, so. Man, apparently these are just flying off of the shelves, I suppose. But look what they do have, which is kind of comical. Um, remember we were getting these couponing, the Frosted Flakes with cinnamon basketball cereal? Like, it's kind of funny now. It's a dollar tree. Oh my gosh, guys. I found them. I wanted the cereal bowl, though. I'm not seeing the cereal bowl. But... I guess I should be beggars can't be choosers, right? So, oh my gosh, they have a different one here too. They have all sorts of them. Okay, this is the one I got the other one. Berenstein Bears, that's coming with me for sure. This Arthur cup, I think is gonna come with me because it's a different background. And then my friend, thank you. I know her mom's gonna be watching. So mocking Jay, let your daughter know. <laughs> I'm gonna buy her one because she's the one who told me about these anyway. So yeah, make sure they don't have the cereal bowls because that's like the one I want the most because the cereal bowls are just so cool. Um, don't see that, but at least, at least they have the cups. So I am gonna buy these three, which if I only would have known, I wouldn't have drove clear to the other Dollar Tree because I could have just got them here. But anyway. Wait, 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 wait. Are the cereal bowls down here hidden by this thing? Maybe. No, this is just regular, ugly, regular bowls. So, okay. But I am at least thankful I found these. 